Yo, Bulls fans, we are back, and today we're going to be talking about some rumors that have been going around about Mo Bamba wanting to play for the Chicago Bulls. And I wouldn't be totally against it, but there's definitely a few things that would play into him being on the team. But we should have to get him, we would have to get him uh, via a trade or a sign and trade because he is signed to a two year contract with the. Uh, with the Lakers that ends next year, but he was a free agent uh, last year before he signed the deal with the um, with the Lakers. But and he, I believe he wanted we should we should have signed him then because we wouldn't have to worry about trading him or trading for him and giving up assets on our team. But he only played nine games for the Lakers and they didn't really play him too much. He came off the bench a few times but when he did play for them he averaged 3.7 points per game and earned about four and a half rebounds per game on the lakers and he can also shoot the three ball i believe on the lakers when he played the nine games he shot like 31 percent but he definitely can shoot the three ball which could be helpful he can stretch on the floor and do a lot of different things but he could bring a lot of defense and rebound him which is needed and he also did he averaged a block on Orlando before he was traded to the Lakers. He played 40 games for Orlando and he only averaged around seven points per game. But he, yeah, he could bring rebounding and a lot of defense and rebounding is what the Chicago Bulls need. And with Erlat Bitten coming in, he can provide that three point shooting, but we could definitely look in the, into the free agent market to look for another three point shooter that we could use. But he could be our backup big, but I think that our backup big could also be Marco or Adama Sanago, but the Bulls would have to convert Adama Sanago's two-way contract to a an NBA roster spot, which I think they're going to give to Erlat Bitten. I'm praying that they give it to him because that kid is a hooper. I love that kid. I'm all for him being on the Chicago Bulls. I'm a huge fan of him, and I cannot wait to see what he can do. But, yeah, they would have to um, convert Adama Sanago's contract to a NBA roster, but... Marco Simonovic, I think there's going to be a video on him, but I think he could definitely play into being our backup center, but there will be a video on that. But Mo Bamba's contract that he signed with the Lakers is $10.3 million. So we would have to give up a few assets that could really add up to hitting that $10 million mark. So there would definitely be a, a few that definitely would kind of hurt the roster I think because they're two good defensive I think Alex Caruso and Patrick Williams would add up to that contract and I don't really want to give either of them away but you know we never know what AK and I think he could I think he could make a move like that but let's let's see what else he could give but hopefully it's not at AC or P will but he did yeah he is he's a great center He's definitely a good backup center. He can he can play defense. He can rebound. If you need a little offense, he can definitely get there. But he can definitely get hit the offensive board and really do a lot of different work on the defensive end. But I think he could fit on the team. But I definitely think that we have a few options on our team that could be in the backup center position. But if the Bulls did, um, if the Bulls did trade for him, I definitely would think that. I wouldn't be against the trade because he could definitely help us off the bench and everything. But, yeah, that's going to be all. Those are rumors about Obama wanting to come to Chicago. I wouldn't be against it, but we'd have to see what we'd have to give up. But that's going to be all for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Please share the video. And see you Red Bulls Nation.